All right. Call it what you want, a rethinking, retooling, maybe, well, just changing his mind. But Donald Trump this week said he is open to overhauling his massive tax cut plan. Fox News contributor Steve Moore has advised Team Trump on tax policy, joins us now. Nice to see you, sir. Great to be with you. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. So let, let's take through how things look for your average family of four, making roughly $80,000 a year. They pay $327 per week in taxes. Mm -hmm. Under Team Trump's plan that he has on his website, that number goes down by $103, $224 per week, roughly about a $5,000, $5,200 tax savings. That costs roughly $10 trillion, the plan that we initially looked at under Donald Trump. You say you can get it down to $5 trillion. How are you going to do it? First of all, let me talk about those numbers because that's a big deal for the middle class. If they can save three or four or five thousand dollars a year on their taxes, that is a huge financial help. Because the big issue in this campaign, I think, is going to be what's happened to wages and, and median family income over the last ten years. It's been flat. Five so thousand dollars back in your pocket. Yeah, that's it's another a, computer you can buy. You can go on vacation. You can take your kids out to dinner. Right. So this is a a, a middle class tax cut. Now all the rates will be cut. Um, what uh, Larry, my friend Larry Kudlow and I um, have helped a little bit with the a Trump campaign to say, look, we can take the cost of this plan and we can uh, do a lot of the same stuff, you know, cut, cut the tax for the middle class. You can also have the pro-growth elements of it helping business because that's another part of this plan that you haven't even mentioned. Businesses are going to get, rate, yeah, the corporate think. and the small business are going to get a big tax cut. Remember, most small businesses in America today, the, the small businessmen and women who run those companies, they pay taxes not at the corporate rate, but at the personal income tax rate. So when you bring those rates down, it helps those businesses too. So we, we estimate you can probably bring that class down to maybe less than $5 trillion, and then with some spending cuts, you can still balance the All budget. Right, so so Trump, yeah. Trump plan is originally $10, $10 trillion. Right. You're, uh, you think you can get it down to five trillion? Less, where, or less, or less, or yeah. less. Where, where do those cuts come, or where do those modifications happen? Well, you just have to tweak a little bit of what's going on with respect to, you know, when the various rates kick in and at what income levels. One of the things we suggested to Mr. Trump, I don't know if he's going to uh, endorse this recommendation, is why not cap the, um, all the deductions that wealthy people get? So, you know, the massive deductions, that, most of the deductions in the tax code go to the millionaires and billionaires. Cap those, cut their tax rates. Ronald Reagan did this in 1986. You just said something very, <laughs> said very important. Most of the uh, tax breaks go to millionaires and yeah, billionaires, they do. of whom Donald Trump is one of them. Just ask, right. he'll tell you. He also <laughs> said very interestingly that he does everything he can to pay the lowest possible tax rate. Everyone does. Do you? Uh, Everyone no does. I do, don't you? <laughs> well, 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 we'll discuss it later. And it's none I of your sure business. Do. If I can save else. a penny of my taxes, um, I'll do all it. All right. <laughs> question, question for you, though. Do you really believe that Donald Trump is going to do things that will adversely affect his own taxes, his own pocketbook? Because if he's limiting deductions for millionaires and billionaires, that doesn't help him very much. Well, but. Uh, what you do with this tax plan is you, you make the deal, and, and Ronald Reagan did this back in 1986. You cut the tax rate to make the system more efficient, but you get rid of all the loopholes and special interest provisions. Now, again, Donald Trump has said, you know, in general, he wants to do that. Uh, what we propose is, is capping them so that, you, you know, that high-income people aren't going to get the big breaks. Low, income pe low and middle-class people will still get, be able to take all the tax breaks that they get right now. Last question for yeah. you, and, and I, f I find this interesting because you and I have talked economics for a long yeah. time, and you've always been a, a guy to call balls and strikes. You've always said that the way to deal with the budget deficit, the way to deal with the horrible uh, debt that we're ro rolling up, is economic growth. Yeah, you, ha you have one or two percent of economic growth takes care of a you lot of bil it. billions and trillions of dollars it. of debt. How do you square that with Trump's protectionist trade policies that everyone agrees doesn't do much? for economic growth. So let, let me, first of all, you get an A in economics today, because you're exactly right. If you want to get the budget my, deficit my down. My economics professor did Northwestern. would be <laughs> so proud right. right now. <laughs> so you, Never if got you want, an A while I was there, but now. Want, if you want to get your budget, the budget deficit down, and you want to bring down the debt, and you want to create jobs, you got to have growth. And the, the sickness in the economy over the last seven, eight, nine years has been, there's been almost no growth. We've been growing at 2% the last six months.
months, we'd run at 1%, which is barely keeping our head above water. I believe if you put in place Donald Trump's tax plan, you can make that growth rate go from 2% to 4%. And that, that adds $6 trillion of additional revenues over the next 10 years and, and reduce spending. Because look, if you put more people to, to work, that means less people are going to get food stamps. the first stamps. part of my question. <laughs> That's you you didn't get to the protectionist yeah. okay, trade so, part. So the, tr the tax plan is very good because it's going to, especially for businesses. Now, on, on trade protectionism, I'm not a protectionist. I'm a free trader. I'm a free trade guy. I do think that free trade helps the American economy. But I will say this. Did maybe you hold Trump that? Uh, we didn't talk about that. We talked about taxes. But I will say this. Maybe having someone at the negotiating table with, with countries like China and Japan, which cheat on the trade deals, and we know what China is doing right now. When we send our goods and services over there, our intellectual property, our computer right. software, things like that, what do they do? They steal it. They, they don't protect well, no, our... They don't and, even have to, so have it having to steal somebody it. They hack in saying, and steal it. Yeah, so maybe having somebody like Donald Trump at the negotiating table say, look, you're not going to be able to have free trade with us unless you start abiding by the rule of law. I can live with that as a free trader. I think it's, it's high time we did that. All right, we're putting this clip on the Internet so a couple of my professors <laughs> can watch it. I'm going to see if I can get my transcript changed. Uh, extra credit. Steve Moore.